You know what it takes, and you're ready today to take them all off. You got the measure of your man, and you know that you can go all the way. Give it to him. Yeah, give him a taste. The logo's give in there. Give him, give him, give him a taste. No, no female me. friendly. <laughs> Right, no my hooky my. Welcome back to another episode of the Kiwi in our podcast. I think it's episode 114. Oh, I was going to stop saying that because I keep yeah. getting it wrong. Anyway, uh, it's about that episode 100 something. It's 114. I can nearly guarantee it, but I won't. My name's Lenny Brookie. I'll be your host as per usual. To me, Lucy left. I've got Jason Smiley Weatherly. How are you, sir? I'm good. Yourself? I'm great, thank you. And then it's a special guest. Well, we're guests in his house, but yeah. So it's, uh, it's a double guest almost. You sold the couch, casting couch in the... I did, mate. I needed to make a dollar in. Laundry man. Tell what? you what, the couch wasn't bringing in money, so I had to <laughs> had to sell it. What did you tell them about the stains? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're not selling my bed. We're not selling my bed <laughs> mattress, mate. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, oh. a lot of yellow stains on anyway, this Anyway, oh, sorry This is uh, Tim O'Brookie who's, who's joining us tonight Oh, special guest even mentioned Special guest Thanks, uh, mate So now we're Instead of being in your shed We're in the much warmer Like living room space We've yeah, gone from warmer. We've gone from economy To business class, haven't we? It feels, like, the, it feels like it The warmth It's an upgrade the, From the shed to the lounge Bloody nice table Great table um, We better thank the sponsors So shout out to FitZone uh, in Matamata, Te Aroha, Paero and Waihi, we've just finished our four-week challenge, but alas, we've got our MET battle coming up. So basic, Ooh. yeah, you might have seen our reel that uh, Timo had put together for us. Nice, yes, Timo. Yes, the battle, MET battle of the, the towns, towns, isn't it? Rural of the, communities. Of the small towns. Yes, so uh, you just need a MyZone belt. You can jump on if you're in those towns or part of the gym. FitzoneNZ.com to get all the information and buy a MyZone belt if you do want one. All right, and also shout out to Tummy Hunter Consulting for all your immigration needs, green cards, um, all sorts. Yellow cards, 10 in the bin, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. no, he won't be getting any for the Bulldogs. <laughs> 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 they don't get those apparently. No, they don't. They're allergic. But yeah, Dre at Tummy Hunter Consulting to sort you out if you need your seasonal workers and whatnot to come into the country. He would be here, but he's um, out overseas sorting more immigration, getting more stamps on his boy yeah. passport, stuff like that. Yes. So oh, he's mate. probably doing something, Mr. Well, Worldwide. On the ground, yeah. He's on the ground. He's mate. actually studying. No, that's not what he said. He's doing a PhD in D's nuts. <laughs> uh, so shout out to Dre. All right. That will move us into this next segment. Oh, you like that? Don't hit my computer. Oh, it's timeless. It's a classic. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, she gave me the Ellie Dome. All right. That was PNC tonight, and this is the plug they did not ask for, Jace, but it turns out. They're going to get it. They're going to get that shit. What's this? High Tackle? Oh, no, High Line. High Line, High Tackle. That's a great name for a beer. <laughs> yeah. You're onto something there, Jace. Head High. This is the High Line, <laughs> this is the high line Low Carb Hazy Pale Ale, brought to you by Mount Brewing Co. Ah, NBC. It, it'll, be cra- it'll be great to call it a High Tackle, because you'll be feeling hazy after the High Tackle. Yes, yeah. it falls a hazy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Someone take that and run with it. Yes. It'll be a heavy one. You want to do Low Carb, though? Yeah. Well, you could call that one the Heavy Hitter. Yeah, oh, you could do, okay. yeah. Okay, now we're talking. Anyway. Come at us with that and like just work with us. Like surfing the high line of a wave, this low carb hazy pale ale beer will, won't disappoint. Savor the tropical and citrus combo as it takes your palate on a ride. Experience the best of both worlds with its hazy golden hue, refreshing mouthful whilst keeping the carb count in check. Established in 1996, Mount Brewing Co. is a second generation family business owned and operated in Mount Monganui. You can find them mountbrewing.com, mountbrewingco.com, sorry. And they're on Instagram and Facebook. You'll be able to find them fairly no, that, easily. That rings a if bell. You, Isn't it the Bull? Wasn't it the Bulls that do this? The yes, Bull family? Yeah, it was the Bull family. <laughs> Tom, oh. Tom Bull. That yep. was the other one they made, eh? Created by Tom Bull. Yeah, something like that. I'm pretty sure it is. The Bull. Even if Tom Bull had nothing to do with this, shout out to the bro. Mm. Shout out do you wanna That's our boy Blue. <laughs> My boy read Blue. It, read out... Um, 
Eternals or animal? The yeah. ingredients. Do you know what's mad? Is this how they make beer with that? Hops, mosaic, blah, 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 malt, golden promise. So hops, malt, wheat, and yeast. The yeast they used is a F two O two vape. True. True. Look, the vapes on there. Even um, science man. Now being a creative, I quite like what they've done here with the graphic on the can too. They've got Moal and got Lenny on the front. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that looks like your mullet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a mullet. It's you, kid. <laughs> and, like, and his white ass. It looks like half of the picture's missing. Like there's some someone's meant to be in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's supposed to be bent over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shout out to Mount Bruco. I don't think they've ever made a bad one, in my opinion. <laughs> and the, I take that banner. <laughs> no, nah, it's good. That's nice. That's hot summer's day. It's on its way. Oh, you could punch That's that. Good. That's going to be a punch hit. That. Mm. If, that, right. if that was like on a, a line diagram, that's quite high up there. High line. All right, beauty. We'll move into the next segment, eh? Let's do it. How many dudes you know roll like this? How many dudes you know flow like this? Bro. Not many, infinity, not many, infinity. How many dudes you know got the skills to go and rock a show like this? Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. I don't know anybody. Check check. The All door. right. Um, this is questions. People send us questions and we strive to answer them. But we've got a special, another special guest for questions. Yes, she's um. Lurking in the spare office somewhere. Let's see if she's um, keen to jump on. It's my uh, it's my wife, by the way. <laughs> so jump on the podcast. It's hey, Sarah. Sarah, are you keen to jump on the podcast real quick for a couple of questions? <laughs> I won't take long. You can do three questions and then jump out. Then you can jump out. We're just trying to really... Um, Reach out. Different. We want to get a female perspective. But if you're not keen, that's okay. If you're not keen, that's okay. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Come on. You're already halfway here. Yeah, I'll set these up for you. You know how to do bed bed mess, right, eh? Bed mess. What's that? Brackets. Brackets. (coughs) Something E. Division. Motivation. What the hell are you on about? (laughs) Bed mess. I've got no idea what bed mess is. Oh. You didn't pay attention in school. Well. (laughs) Okay, there we go. We've got that mic'd up. Check one, two. Talk Sarah. Sewa Se- is on board. So I've got my wife here, um, Sewa, <laughs> to um, Se-wa. represent that uh, female audience. Um, First no female guest. Oh, you are? thank you. <laughs> what a privilege, Sewa. Um, Jace, you got some questions for her, eh? I do. Um, <laughs> for Sarah, this one is Which club has the best looking blokes? Oh. You already know this one, don't you? What your answer is. How do I answer this? <laughs> <laughs> one club, like if you had to say one club, like which club has which the best club looking, and which club and why? I feel like I can't say anyone else except for the Warriors. That's but right. Yeah. Well, they got some good looking guys. Tamidi, good looking man. Yeah, there's a few in there. What What would be your? I guess if we break it down by players, because there is some player. there, there is some um some great looking players in the NRL. You've got your. Um, yeah, Reese, Reese Walsh. Who are some other people you've seen on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Reese Walsh. Who else is yeah, there? Jordan. Jordan, Jordan Ricky. Ricky. Yes, oh, he's a fan yeah. favorite. Oh, oh, I thought you said Jordan Rapana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. He goes. Is. He goes okay. <laughs> he, yeah, he's still good. Yeah. He goes well. He's got that, that veteran, got that veteran look. look about him. Who else is there? Old. I don't know if you've seen Pretty Eyes. Old Brinton Nicolder. Have you seen him? No, I don't think no. she has. No, not well, next year. Next year. Next year. What team does he play for? The Sharks. The oh. Sharks. So you see him this weekend, actually. Okay. Yes. Um, but we're saying before the Warriors probably, in turn, like if you rate each player by their looks out of ten, the Warriors probably have like the highest average yep. across High the area. Yeah. Average. Yeah. Yes. Would you agree? Would yep. you boys agree? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah, do you I reckon? Who do you reckon's bending the line for us, like really getting it up to mighty? Tamati is, I reckon, just because he's also a man of the outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> and then I reckon well. Dallin, cute. Like don't you don't have locks cuts. like that, and don't get an extra yeah. two points. Um, you got SJ as well. SJ was a standard one. Who else is there? Montoya, Capewell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> Mitch Barnett. I reckon would go all right. 
You told me that um, you thought Wade was sexy. Yeah, Wade is. Oh, Wade Why Egan, didn't you yep. add him? Sorry, in there? Wade is a sexy man. It's yeah. a sexy looking man. Yes, tatted up. Who um, else is there? Who else? Jazz Tavanga. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you laughing yeah. for? No, I. D- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got that. Um, yeah, he's got. He's, he's got that scrappy warrior. He's got that South Lost. Auckland charm. Yeah. Um, Freddie Lussick going for that. <laughs> <laughs> We're it's really not doing this very well. No, um, Chance. Chance has got a Chans great Chans smile. Cute. Got a great smile, yes. Roggie. Roggie but he, but yes. he's not here this week because um, there's a parent head knock, I don't know. Even Ali, um, even Adam Pompey, he's got that shy mouldy boy. Yeah. Skucks. Oh, what knife. about um, Chanel Harris Tavita? Yes. Oh, yeah, Chanel. Yes, yes. that's an obvious one. Mm. And even Metcalf. And Luke, yeah. Metcalf. Yeah. Luke, yeah. See, see, that's getting our average back up. That's high. That's a that's, that's a high. yeah. That's a really good looking team. <laughs> Tom Ali, Nick, Nick, <laughs> Nick <laughs> 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 yeah, next. Yeah, brothers. Okay, next question for Sarah's on the on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> okay, favorite game so far this year. Oh. Was it the second game? Oh, that we went and watched. You guys went to yeah. Storm. We've been Warriors Sharks, Warriors Storm. Oh, not live. <laughs> Doesn't have to be live. Or I think the only game we watched live and won was the game we watched with you. The yeah. Tigers game, yeah, oh, that was fun. You're the good luck. You got a shocking good strike luck. rate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Timo actually said that I need to stop going because maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe I'm making them lose. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what was your favourite one? The Storm, did you say? The one we watched. Tigers. Oh, oh, Tigers. Tigers, yeah. yeah. Nice. I was that was say a great that game. That first Bulldogs game too was from the couch. Oh, that yeah, was that was oh really from the good. couch, yes. But we didn't get the win. Edge of the yeah. seats. Edge of the two do the whole time. My favourite game this year has probably been that Penrith win. Yeah, fuck, that was off the chart. Oh, no. yeah, Every, was e- everyone good. wrote us off. Yeah. There was no one going for us except this hearty Warriors fans. <laughs> yeah, just nothing to lose, eh? You're always going for them, Jason, but maybe some of us didn't pick them to win that game. Yes. Is that what you're trying to say? Kane. Mm. <laughs> After that game I felt like We thought it was going to be Our year right I thought we were yeah. back on track For sure Turns out it was just our week <laughs> <laughs> We had a couple of weeks It was our week Two weeks Yeah <laughs> We'll yeah, take that. that That was our fortnight <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a new slogan Our year More like our fortnight yeah. <laughs> That would have been a good one eh Yeah <laughs> the, uh, Is there another one y- Yes <laughs> What got you hooked into a league Oh, yeah, good well, question. Because I've been trying to hook you onto league for the last ten years. <laughs> <laughs> but what was what was your turning point? Watching a live game for the first time. Definitely. It's crazy, eh? I think that helps, eh? Because mm. that means you get a greater understanding of like the game. Mm. Yeah, we didn't even win that game, but they have yeah. good they have yeah. good hot dogs. I mean, donuts at um Mount Smart as well. Great little mini donuts. Yeah. They just they do everything extra eh, at the Warriors home games, like we took. Yep. Sarah assisted to a live game in the weekend too, and um, she's probably going to be hooked for Hopefully. for next year. But yeah, just the match day experience, eh? Like it's good. You got to go and yep. see it firsthand, and then then become a fan. Oh, of actually, it. I got a question. Did you? <laughs> I I haven't seen it really, but the person that had the massive tongue in the Pukana cam. Oh yes, <laughs> I've seen it all over. Oh my God. So how big is it? <laughs> like, <laughs> like someone, a so, so, <laughs> someone said, did anyone see the twelve-inch tongue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's and wasn't it like pointed almost yeah. as well, like a li- almost like a lizard almost? That was yeah. Man, it's different. Like, it's <laughs> like one of those things out of a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Man's gifted. How good. Oh. Um. That's it for Sarah, unless That's you want to be here for the other questions. <laughs> you can try answer some of the others if you want. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh, we'll see how you go. <laughs> I'll just be on standby. You'll be on standby <laughs> to have input. Cross live, yeah. The WRL mole. Oh, kia ora, bro. Kia ora. Um, Waz have signed F all peeps for next season and beyond. Who are they target? Oh, who should they target? Oh. This would be you talked about this on the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got well, SJ leaving, but I would we all agree that Timidi, Luke and Chanel will be our three halves that we'll the just from, yeah. to next yeah. year? Yeah. Yeah. I'd assume. And even at a stretch, if we have people go down, you can chuck Chansey in there and Roger at fullback. Yeah. 
Because Chansey was good at six in that um, Penrith game. He's got a pretty good strike rate at six if you do the numbers, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think just maybe... Oh, we've got Fish coming. <coughs> got the I Fish. S- and that's pretty much a swap for Adam. Got Aaron Clark coming. Oh, I forgot about Aaron. Yeah, swap yeah, for Jazz. He'll pretty much be like a... Yeah, Jazz, won't he? And then... Um, there's some the young good guys. kids coming through. I'm not sure if we need to sign anyone else. That's what I thought. Um, no, actually... Maybe someone who cooks goals. <laughs> Yeah, that's like probably actual. true. What if someone <laughs> lies on their resume though? <laughs> I actually would love to see, and I saw it on a forum last week too, like um, someone put a question up sort of saying like um, that the Warriors like lack speed and I would just love for the Warriors, no disrespect to the current players, but I'd love to see like a a Josh Adokar, a Jason Saab or An a out and just, out a, speed stuff. just someone you give mm. it to early with space and later ball. AKP. Like, yeah. AKT, how how yeah, quick man. is he? Because I feel like we don't really have that X factor in our, We've got in big, our team. We've got big boys, eh, really? Who do you consider the quickest winners. in our team? Because Johnson said Dallin. But yeah. I'd have to say it probably mm. would, it probably be would be Dallin. Close to Dallin, but Metcalf is pretty quick. But is he just more acceleration then? Mm. Possibly. It's hard to know, too. It's like watching someone play and like how fast mm. they are. Yeah. I think we're pretty sore today. We probably just really need... It's legit on the goal kicker, though. Yeah, I reckon because <laughs> like fuck, we'd be in a different position if we had. We be if you're listening, <laughs> the top seventeen that you're looking at, just get them all to practice kicking over the all of them, all over the season, and then whoever's best is our kicker. Isn't um, if that's Fisher Harris, it's Fisher Harris. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Isn't Lukey Metcalf like meant to be a solid goal kicker? He's pretty too? solid. Yeah, him, <laughs> well, him and Wits are pretty good. He had his first game back, and he was like, "Oh sweet, we got a kicker back," and he missed his first one. <laughs> 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 Seems to be our. Um, I think it's just a bit of a hoodoo on them at the moment. Yeah. But, but outside of that, I don't think we need to sign. I think we're pretty sweet. Yeah, no, I'd love to see how our current team some young boys just coming through mm. here in Clark go. Cause Cause especially if... There's two good signings, I reckon. Dylan Walker stays, I don't think we need to... No, that's true, because he's not leaving just yet, is he? No, well, he hasn't said he is. He doesn't want to. All right. Okay. Next question. Where do you think Leo Thompson is going if rumours are true? Now, the rumours are he's going somewhere else next year. I think he's going back to the Chiefs. He plays for the Knights. He's going to the Chiefs. He's going to, he plays for the Knights. He's going to the Chiefs and he's doing a swap with his brother. Yeah, maybe, but his brother's mm. supposed to be going to the Knights next year. Mm. So it is just a rumour. But where do you think he could be going if he was going somewhere? I reckon. No one's really said it yet, but I think Penrith would be interested in him. Yeah, he'd be a great. Yeah. Because like, if you think about where he'd have to go for him to leave there, it would have to be big money or it would be like Penrith or Storm, like one yeah. of those clubs. Because be, you'd think like if his twin brother's going there, you'd think he'd be keen to stick around. Stick around. So it has to be. Mm. He was going. All the Warriors is the other one that everyone, everyone keeps saying, but we just signed Aaron and Fisher-Harris. Like who are Penrith going on the forwards that to replace James? They're just bringing guys through. But that Liam Henry guy? But he's more of a... Leo yeah, Thompson's basically the fish. Yeah. Um, Not as good, but yet. I've actually got a question for Sarah. Okay. Have you noticed you're like on Instagram, you follow more players now? Like you're to see them and you follow them? He's a rugby league a- a- algorithm. I actually think I only follow two Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> Do you follow John Ricky? No. Do you not follow John Ricky? No. And guess, people all can over. Can you guess who the two players are that she follows? Dallin and Sean Johnson. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't Dallin or Sean? Dallin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Dallin okay. and. Don't just put shit out there willy nilly. Think no, about no, it. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be the other one that Sarah would be following? Do you know? It? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Is it what we were talking about this week? Him? Um, I don't know what we were talking about. Is this he week. Him? The, the new podcast? Did, has Sarah listened to it? Oh, Montoya's. Oh, my, yes, my yes, fellow. Yes, yes, oh, but he doesn't. He doesn't actually have. Um, He's on a social media. Yeah, yeah. he hates it. Um, <laughs> Says it a few times. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, who else is? Do you want me to Sarah follow? Do you want me to break it to you? Is it chance? To, I can say, is it is it, it chance? Is, is it? Oh, maybe I need to have a look. It might be more <laughs> than two. I'm pretty sure it's chance, though, eh? No. Oh, <laughs> I'm wrong. Who's the other one? <laughs> Tane. No. <laughs> Tim Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, the hunter. Hunter gatherer. Hunter gatherer. You were thinking, were you going to unfollow him after you saw the pig hunting? Stuff though, maybe. It? Yeah. So <laughs> oh, you not like the pig hunting? It's pretty full no. on. <laughs> Fishing, rides a horse. Yeah. Pig hunting. Not about the pig hunting life. He's just 
dead animals are not my thing. <laughs> that's fair enough. Fair enough. That, that, right. That's do all we good. Have any more question? Yeah, we do. We got. Um, oh, there. Timo, what was your pinch me moment from the Waz game in the weekend? Oh, that's a good um, question. Yeah, that is a bloody great question. Maybe. The, was it the walking out? Anyone oh, was coming out? I think it was like, yeah, that was pretty cool, but I was just so dialed yeah, in on the camera where that were I wasn't you really. Standing when he was coming out. Um, I was pretty much directly in front with all the other oh, um, paparazzi. There was like 12 <laughs> of us there holding a camera. Oh, really? Yeah. Holy shit. Um, I think the pinchy moment was probably probably at the end when I was packing up my gear. I just like, because like it was in the Warriors like office area where I had my um, camera gear stuff, yeah. when I was packing up. I just heard like these girls talking to someone and I just heard this voice like, oh yeah, you'll be all right. You know, it's, <laughs> just, it's just a game. Yeah. And I turned around and saw the mad butcher. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he the walked mad, pa- mad. when he walked past me, I like made eye contact with him and just gave him a moldy chair. And then he said, did you get some good photos tonight, mate? And then, <laughs> um, yeah, we just had a good, good yarn, but it was cool, you know, like, yeah, just getting to see people, people like that. And like your close proximity and feeling a bit special with your um, wrist wrist band. VIP wristbands. Oh, like the ones you have in the spa and then you hide it because you don't <laughs> have one. <laughs> <laughs> and you wear it for days to let everyone know. <laughs> <laughs> Rhythm and vines. Yeah. Two months mad, later. The mad butch. That's so cool. It was cool It was cool seeing you on. Or yeah. Like the photos and that. Your mum. The hucker would have been oh, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I didn't realise it was going to happen and then... I was behind all the Warriors boys doing the haka, and then I was just like, and everyone was capturing them. So you kept them, them, and then I was like, no one's capturing like Sean reacting. The reaction, so like, yeah. I was just like, I'll, I'll set up here, and you can actually see me in the video. Yeah, <laughs> photo bombing out with this big ass lens. We've seen, <laughs> it, seen it on our story with your twelve inch lens. Yeah, good size lens, bro. The only content creator not wearing a Warriors uniform. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good, went, though. Went for a cream that, jersey that just to be <laughs> seen. <laughs> that, like I say, you that stood out. St- yes, you yeah. stood out you, like in that. <laughs> okay. Last question. Last question. What's the Kiwi starting forward pack for the Pacific Championships? What do you reckon? Um, I reckon we could change. I reckon Leo Thompson and Griff Neem. Starting? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon... That we should, you got the fish, James Fitch Harris, Cheese, Brandon Smith, sorry. And I reckon Tarpany should um, play front row. Okay, I think I saw Papa Lee, he's been very good. Uh, I like it. Off th- off at the 13. See you, Sarah. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. Bye. Thanks for jumping on. We lost you Call there. Call you in next time. <laughs> um, I reckon Tarpany has been playing outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Ice so Papa Lee has been very good too. And I reckon you could put Liotta off the bench. Nico to one back row. And I actually really like how they've been using Nelson on the edge for the Storm. So then I'll go Nelson. You, you weren't too sure about Nelson on the edge at the start, eh? Nah, but I was unsure, yeah. But he's... Na- I'll, it turns out. So you, 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 you're saying... <laughs> Bellamy knows. So you're saying Fish and Tapini? Up front, yeah. Liotta Ooh. off the... Imagine, imagine Liotta deadly, off the bro. bench. That is deadly. Le- sweet, Liotta off the sweet. bench. I just handled Fish. Now yeah, Leota comes on. <laughs> Fast legs. Leota like um Madata or something. I was gonna say, yeah, Madata like <laughs> and then we squeeze him. And then yeah. Vice Puppy. Oh you got even Leo Thompson. So I reckon yeah, Nikura. Yeah, he's Nas. Ice off, Ice Puppy off the back. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then on the bench obviously that you'd have three probably possible forwards. Could you just say Madata? I, I, I would Leo. say Madata because you can use him. Oh for Leota's forward already center. done. Yeah, he's already locked in. Yeah. And if Nia Kore is fit, then he can play centre as well. So mm. he probably has to be in there. Centre, yeah. mid, and then like... Um, he can play in the middle, he can play on the edge. Yeah. Which leaves this for like Griff or Leo probably. Damn, that's tough, eh? I'd shit. say Depending base. on how injuries and shit. And like, he's been playing good. Aaron Clark might even get a... He yeah, he'll be, he'll be in the mixer. Do you reward them on like form or like for their <coughs> history of how they went mm. last year? Like, I think it's a bit of both, eh? I think Griff's been still very good. Yeah. Um, and then who's your... Leo's been good too. Sure. Who's your 14th, uh, 14th man? Dep- obviously, depending on who's in your starting squad, but because that would make up your bench. Oh. Keanu, for me, would be 14. I wonder... So I'll still start Chansey at the yeah. back, personally. I wonder if they... 
would run a um, like a Aaron Clark at fourteen, and just have the little big boys, and because he mm-hmm. can play a bit of hooker if you need. So yep. I'm just worried if someone goes down. Oh, we got near ne- Corte. He can go centre yeah. and then a centre can go wing. Yeah, wing can go fullback. That could work. That'd be ginormous. That would be hectic. <laughs> But Mate. I thought if we start that yeah. way, but if you have like, who do you, so for example, we had Leo, um, Leota, and Neo Kore, Neo Kore on the bench. You could go someone small like um, Keanu Kinney. I reckon it might be nice eh, to have someone that Spoon. can, can mm. yeah Spoon. offer that like especially when you've defense. got all these big jokers. Yeah, you probably need Neo Kore's not massive. He's quick. Do you know? What, sorry, just on that. Do you know? What I reckon they should do on the grand final day when they do the hundred meter sprint. They should do an agility races well where you've got to go in between the flags. Keanu Kenny would be mean at that. They should do everything. Long jump, high jump. <laughs> 400 metre, yeah, 800. Pole vault. Got to wear the same uniform, right? <laughs> <laughs> got to wear the same uniform. Shit. But I just uh, thought, I was thinking dancing. about that to with, the, with the Ford pack. That would be... Yeah. I mean, anyone would be scared well, coming up against that. But it's like, oh, I suppose Keanu um, Kenny. Would you sort of use him as a backup hooker then? Because surely Brandon Smith wouldn't play 80 minutes. He won't, no. So he'd have to come in and play in the middle. Which, I mean, he played a bit of 14 throughout the year, I think. Is is that where Aaron Clark could be used on the bench as well? Mm. As part of the rotation, like a forward or... Because who did we go through last year? We said last week we had... Because, like, Foran was the 14 originally. Yeah. Then there was Nick. I guess he works out well. He probably doesn't bring speed when he comes on, but... Oh, he started that final though, eh? Yeah. That Foz. was a good idea, yeah. Oh, that's right, they changed. He ties up yeah. the middle, he's a great defender, hearty is, <laughs> and can cover half. Very experienced, obviously. Because it was him and Fa- Manu Brown, eh? Yeah. They yeah. were good, man. Do they go for that? Yeah. Oh. Don't know how we I guess the question playing. is, yeah. yeah. I, I think it would be, che- Foz, who else did we say? Crosland? Um, Nicodema. Nicodema, yes, mm. that's the other one. He's been But he's, off. Injured now, is it? I don't know how bad, but he went off injured in the weekend. Oh, True. shit. Shit. I can't, I can't remember if it was a head knock. But off. the 14 will be a very interesting... Oh, it depends how they build the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, you're right. And depends like who they're playing like against someone like Tonga. Do you go for like size or speed and then best Probably Australia. speed or 14, eh? Mm. Against Tonga. Yeah, whereas Australia, they might... For a local, he might get picked. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep, he's a possibility. He is a possibility. All yeah. right. How oh, good. Um, well, that was all the questions, was it? Yes, sir. All right, we'll move into the next segment, shall we? Harmonics. Your harmony. Cheer my Maoris, cheer my Dokos, cheer my Usos. Cheer my Kihas. Oh, can't leave them out too. <laughs> everyone. Cheer everyone. This is the review of the round bean. Um, we've chewed up a bit of time, so we won't spend heaps of time on each game. No, we'll just go through quickly. First game of the round. Tigers back it up with another win 34 26 over the Seagulls. There were some controversial sin bins in this game. There were. Round. Light ones that. Probably affected our game. <laughs> yes. Wow. Um, Tigers, though. Tigers next, go back to back. Next tiger, year, man. Tigers. And then they get a buy this week. Easy six points for them. Yeah. Six points. Do they come up off the bottom then? Uh, if, so we're talking on the way. So if t- Tigers get their two points this week, if Parramatta lose on bottom of the table, and then next week, next week, last round of the comp, they verse each other the bottom oh, for true. the spoon bowl. So that's actually going to be... The match of the, the match bro. Of that's the probably going to match of the weekend, I reckon. Yeah, because <laughs> no one wants the spoon. But even no. if they win oh, this week, <laughs> Parramatta, they'll be on the same points, but points differential will put them ahead of West Tigers. So it'll be oh. good. It'll be a good little. It'd be great if it ends out. Whoever loses that game is on the bottom. Yeah. Well, I hope um, for Benji's sake that the Tigers get off the bottom. Like pretty yeah. cool that he's been announced. They um. Hall of Famer this yep. year, yeah. But I'm just worried that this um, Tigers year. coaching gig's gonna like leave a bit of a sour taste. But Taint him, yeah. And saying that, like I was thinking that the other day, like he's got big balls, like just taking on that job, to eh? take it on <laughs> and be like, I'm gonna give it a crack. He obviously loves the club, yeah. Like he said, mm. but I think you got Luai coming next year, Taruva, 
Yeah. Turuva. I they've, mean, they've done well with the team they have this year. Like so many to, young kids, to like put up, you well, know, the young put guys. Up a so, so many young guys, bro. Fatape, he's been playing good. But there's been heaps of young guys that have stood up. Well, I think, and they've had their um, they've played like young team though as well. Yeah, like, you know, they'll get tries and they'll let one in straight away, or yeah, they'll make an error or straight straight off the back of it. You know, it's gonna be hard as a coach too to like. Your club be struggling, and then you're trying to breed in these new players, and, and you're trying, trying to learn trying yourself, to, yeah. yeah, and trying to keep them like, yeah. Um, and they're one of those clubs too; they have a board and shit like that, so they're always like, pretty. It's pretty full on gig, eh? Because it's like mm. live and die by the sword kind of yeah. stuff. Mm. But I think obviously, with, if Luai comes in to Uva and they're still on the bottom, like not one player can change a team, but it should be able to lift you off the bottom, mm. surely. But if you bring in two players. Yeah, okay, good. Yep, I think they'll they'll go a bit better next year. Um, Seagulls, that's disappointing. And it's just in the middle too. Their forwards were pretty, pretty soft at times. Tommy Turbo, Tommy Turbo, he's looking like he's something else. But what do you think the Eagles are going to do in the finals? Do you reckon they're going to crash and burn? I don't or? know. Yeah, I depends, like eh? Because one game they can play <coughs> mean, and the next, <coughs> yeah. I want to put my mortgage on it. I, I, uh, I, like, yeah, but Penrith lost to Tigers last year mm. and came and won the comp, but then there was also the start of the year that you should be peaking this time of the year. You're not, no, it's not you running to finals. You don't want mm. to be, like, stumbling over the Tigers. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't know if they've oh, got stumbling. it in them to, like, regular season they can, yeah. you know, tap a big team, but I just can't see them going well, out against they, Panthers yeah. or Storm in a finals. Situation. They couldn't even get past us. Yeah. We had to share the point. That point actually is what's locked them into the top eight. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one point Which actually is crazy. Is, yeah. yeah. Um, I just think they just don't have the. I feel like Paseca and um, Safal Tipley. Yeah. Uh, Sipley, they're, they're good. But, you know, they're not like um, Fisher Harris or Taps where they're like. Yeah. Re- you know what I mean? Yeah. Aggressive, I guess. Yeah. They're not very. They can. They have their moments. Um, yeah, but. It lucky Gavin could so mean, eh, for them. Unbelievable! Like yeah, like we were saying in the way he's quite a big, five quite eight, a big, yeah, quite a big tall. kid. And fourteen tackles, zero missed. It's quite mean. Well, that's going to be a hard part of the job too, trying to keep people like Lockie Galvin at the club Interested. by wanting well, to he be there. Well, he almost left. Apparently, yeah, randomly. But yeah, I yeah, mean, he gets to work with Luai next year, so that should help. Yeah, that would probably that's probably what's keeping him up the Tigers. All right, next game, bro. Oh, so thirty-four. As 18. I said before. I feel like the three Simbins in the game before affected the Simbins in this game. <laughs> yeah. Because I was softer the night before. Mm. Yeah. But, um, Timo, you were there, man. I was there, but Didn't see any of it. <laughs> there in the rain, <laughs> taking blurry photos. Yeah. Until I figured out how to do my job. But, no, nah, it was... Was there a few settings? There was, actually. Like, actually, Loki had a bit of a nightmare to start because <laughs> I... I can't because I was doing video as well before the match started. I actually went around the crowd and did some interviews um, <coughs> with some people. So I think when I went from a video to photo settings, there was like this autofocus feature that I had sort of disabled, which meant like when I was panning the camera to take photos like as they were moving, the focus would still be Go like out. where they were. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so I'd look at my photos and I was like, fuck, <laughs> why are these not looking like. Good. Any Follow good? So I was like, "What am I doing here?" Get the phone out, <laughs> get the phone out lad. Yeah, and then um, <laughs> had a look at my settings again, and then was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like I've had it on like this setting instead of like, um, like a tracking feature. Yeah, yeah. And then once I got that sorted, I was like, "All right, now I, now I know what I'm doing." But now it was a main game. Like, I oh, guess we it started was, really well. It was right up, and it was about like that 50 minute mark. Eh, sort of where it got away on us. Mm. Yeah, just. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they have too much, but just the errors eh, at times that were just crucial. Yeah. Like, we can bang on about the Simbin, but there are times there when we've... There's yeah. been a lot of times this year where we've, we've costed ourselves the yeah. game. Yeah. 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 That's what I was saying to Sarah the other day, actually. It was like, like really good teams in the NRL will still get the job done, mm. regardless of yeah. like the Penalty refing situation. And, yeah. Like, if they have bad calls, like the Storm, they still find a way. Well, like, yeah. even they found a way against us in the last seconds. Like, they didn't stop trying yeah. until... That's right, yep. Um, Bulldogs have found a bit of what we had last year with the resilience and like um, 
I think we've just had a lack of defending our errors this year. Yeah. But last year we could make an error. Yeah. And I'll be pretty confident that we could probably stop them scoring. The word off we it. haven't heard this year, resilience. Yeah. Yeah. I said it heaps last year, not so much this year. Um but yeah. Obviously that some binning didn't help, but hey. And there's been I said a lot of hate online for <laughs> Paul Crichton, Quinn McGrubb and that. I was like <laughs> that, that, that that tackle happens. It's on the bloody refs. Yeah. Yeah, the other ones he didn't send him off. And it's more annoying because then... Like people say, he would have been happy to probably go off because he probably... He'd, yeah. You look at the thing and you're like, oh, shit, I just hit him in the face. Yeah. Yeah. And like then it wasn't reckless. Did you even it notice like it the first... Like, probably no, more you than you, Timo, because you were at the game, but mm. when he got hit, I, I didn't even think it was a high hit. And then I thought he was just slipping over in the way. Then wet. I just seen two of us are like stumbling yeah. everywhere. I'm like, what the hell's he up to? Yeah. <laughs> it's like they started 4 a.m. outside the club, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can't come in. <laughs> hey, How why many drinks you had? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Just two, bro. Eh? <laughs> come back in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. bullshit. You're racist, bro. No, uh, apparently, he hit him that hard that um, pushed his eyebrows back in, eh? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Bad cunt. Why would you say that to me? To me. Apparently, he <laughs> hit him that hard that he. Um, He's going to send him into the Samoan team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> anyway, anyway he was from anyway, a fellow Uls. Your Uls, cousin, Uls, as well. Uls on Uls. Your guy's cousin got another try. Kiraz. Jason the Kras. Oh, uh, yeah. Jacob. Were there any Kiwis oh, in the uh, Bulldogs? Oh, there's not. There's a handful. Oh, I don't think there is, bro. Oh, no. There might be some eligible players, but. I think last year it was Docker Clay, wasn't it? And that was pretty much it. Mm. Uh, Josh Edoka. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, brah. You got some snaps of him. Yeah, not that I know of, bro. Not that yeah. I know of. There might be a couple mm-hmm. of eligible jokers that mm. we don't know of. Nick game. All right, Nick game, eh? Broncos. I thought they'd gone and done. I thought they'd done and deuced it. When 30, 24. I, put, I was like, okay, Broncos have probably lost. I'm going to bed. And then what was it? 65th minute, 67th. They didn't, didn't score to the 30... First minute, and Flower. they were sixteen nil down. That's crazy. Yeah. Comeback of doom. Comeback. Obviously, Reynolds was all over that game. Um, so that in the eight ish, the uh, ninth and two chance. points out. They're a chance. There you go. They just they look like one of those teams. If, if he's not playing, yeah, they just that he's just not just not in the competition, which is kind of scary for their future. Eh? Yeah, very much so. Um, because you know he's out getting on a bit, and he gets injured all the time. So yeah, how's our big boy Xavier going? Xavier uh, Willis. Yeah, he played. Um, I was just looking at um, because Jordan Ricky's like he's just obviously always a mean tackler. Thirty-one tackles. Thirty-one one ta- tackles, one missed. Because I was, I was just looking at his run meters. He did fifty run meters. I was like, oh, he probably did it, showed it all in defense. And look at that. He always does. So I think they've. They're favouring the other the other edge a lot more. Mm. Broncos attack, whereas last probably not last year's, yeah probably last year eh, they would they'd go to his side, but I think they, I think go to well, Bear Quarter. They haven't had Reese there the last few weeks, but or a couple of weeks. But once they have Reese in there and Ma'am, they always just link up on that left hand side. Yeah, it's true. So that's why they it's always missing out Ricky going behind him. Yeah, mm. so no, because over Willison, he's been doing, he's very good. He'd be on the precipice of the getting that bench spot. Yeah. Because I don't think Neem or Leo are locked in. Yeah, you've got a, quite a few mm. to choose between. But they've played well. I don't think they've played themselves out of the thing, but there's some players that have played fucking outstanding. So. Tohu might come out of retirement. Going to have a nice extended squad anyway. Like, Going to love the depth of now. Yeah, it's a shame they're not doing the New Zealand A's again. Oh, yeah. Um, Tawada was saying it costs $300,000 to put that team on, that Holy. one game on. Far out. Getting everyone over, flying them over, mm. the comms, all that if stuff. You, if you won like, one of the big lottos, like, but it's so that's so worth it, man. Like, I think that starts a person's journey in the Kiwis, yeah. and then they're like more likely to, you know, stay in the Kiwis fold. If you yeah. win like a big man on the lotto, would you just front that cash yourself <laughs> <laughs> so you can get amongst the cr- um, I've got camp the next two years? Naming, but I'm the coach. Naming right, yeah, coach. coach. I, I want to coach, player, captain, <laughs> little, goal kicker. This is Lenny. Yeah. So I'm naming my son McKay. <laughs> <laughs> captain. McKay's Cap- captain. Captain Cook, <laughs> all sorts. Um, Eels, um, Dijon Arcee, man, he's been looking good. Right, he's played very well this end of the year. And even Dylan Brown losing, but him and Dill. A few people whispering about Dill might not be the six if Nicolima was healthy. 
True. the Kiwis. I'm like, I don't think he's, I think he deserves his spot still. I think just with the role that Jerome Hughes will play, will um, suit, suit them well. That, yeah, Dylan Brown yeah. will be a, a great six. <coughs> Whereas Nicodemus is probably more of the, the playmaking. Off the kit. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, true. He's probably slotting to more of that fold, eh? He could still do it, though. <laughs> okay. No, Raiders 22, Panthers oh, 18. Do we write a, them off now? This was a game. Do you write them off? Penrith? Yep. Can't. Ooh. No, can't. <laughs> as long as they're in the comp, they're a chance of winning. Fisher Harris with a try as well. The big fish. Should have done that as much any time, mate. Bit of HIA too, didn't he, in the start? Copped one, yeah. Copped one, bit copped that big time. <laughs> Um, I think he did a, like a scorpion bail yeah. or something. Like that. <laughs> it's a big ass scorpion, man. <laughs> <laughs> More um, of a killer seal. <laughs> <laughs> but out of anything, uh, I think Joseph Tarpany was huge. Yeah, man. Huge that game. I think he proved to be like, you know, you're taking it to a very good Ford pack, and the bro just stood up. So, what Joey I Tarpany thought he was outstanding. Fourteen runs, 143 meters, 63 post contact. One line break assist, one try, try assist. assist. He's becoming their try assistant master at the moment. Got that offload, man. Got five tackle pass. breaks, two offloads, and 35 tackles with only two missed. Damn. Great game from does it all. Tap. He does it all. And then um, does. your boy Timoko, good yes. intercept. Yes, his intercept. To win them the game. Mooks, is that where he flicked it to? Savage. Kyle? S- oh, no, it was Savage, yeah. Savage, yeah. yeah. Savage with a chorus now, that was mean. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Seb Chris was um that try saver. Oh, that was unreal. That was outrageous. Try that big Seb, big Sebby boy. I don't know if they show it on here. Seb Clear. Because on fantasy they show y- you like try get, savers. You get, you get points, points for try saving. Oh yeah, try saver. But I don't know Shut if they up. have it on here. Try that Sebby Crit. There's a high pro. There's a high pro. High chance that him and Tim Walker will probably be the Kiwi centres. Mm. Joey Money off to rugby. Oh yeah. You probably got the likes of Kyle Edel and who else would we say, Jace? Uh Talal is probably a chance. Oh, yeah. Talal. Talal, yeah. Kyle and Edel. I said Kyle Edel here on the way over. But yeah, um Raiders, eh? There's a classic Raiders move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the best part was when they'll just go up to um Ricky in the box and he just look calm like, Oh yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Let's get, oh yeah, of course we're gonna beat them. <laughs> Peter Rath, yeah, yeah, that's just a normal game for us. Storm, Mad-ass. absolutely dominate, the fucking slain up dolphins. That was illegal. Yeah, right in the bloody the porpoise. Someone called Greenpeace. That was. <laughs> 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 oh, you got it. You won that one. <laughs> <laughs> Someone called called Greenpeace. There's a fight. Oh, There's a shit. slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> There's dolphins blood in the water. Around. Yeah. Someone called Greenpeace, fuck. Greenpeace, though, eh? They always go up, like, they have their little boat and they come up against a big, like, whaling ship or whatever. Mm. Stop it now. <laughs> Give it a crack, don't they? And then there's a big boat. <laughs> Is this the best you've seen the storm look since, like, the, their the, goal? The heyday. Yeah. Which is crazy because people were writing them off at the start of well, the year. I was. I looked at their team list and yeah. I was like, oh, shit. And I, I was like, oh, I wouldn't write them off because. Well, you can't fully write them off. I, didn't, I, I thought they'd get in the eight. I just didn't have them winning the whole the miners mm. locking up the miner. I reckon this was the best I've looked in like the last yeah <laughs> six eight years. I reckon yeah, just what yeah. they've done with some of those players too that were on the list like like your Jack Howarth, like oh, yeah. your oh, yes. your big, like your big brick. Up. Now is he a smoky for a centre for the Kiwis? Oh, he's been playing good enough to be eh? yeah yeah in the combo mm. yeah. If we're talking Kiwis. I reckon his circle is not going to play at the end of the year. Yeah. Every time he gets tackled, mm. he's ripping his leg. And oh, he's yeah, yeah. The last four games he's been doing Do you reckon it. he's still injured? Or it was like he was injured for a little bit and he kept doing it. Now it's just almost like a nervous oh, I just think it's, it's, it's a niggle. Yeah, just carrying it. And he'll need to it. So that will just open the door. If we're talking wingers at the moment for Kiwis, after behind his circle and Molly Tullow probably Warbrick. Yeah, yeah. Because who else would be? You probably could Raps. Mm. Raps. You might be able to chuck Talau on the... Wing. Till our wraps, yep. Um, I just can't. But that would I they would they venture out to like? Well, then that's when it comes to the conversation for Lago or for for Lago or um, Savage even. Possibly is Savage mm. eligible? Is he? I'm pretty sure he's eligible, isn't he? No, nah, I don't think so. Oh, I thought I thought we talked about that he was eligible. Kyle Weeks is. Yeah, 
Go oh, and I thought Savage was his, maybe not. No, I don't think Savage is. Um, ah. There was an amazing shot too, actually, in that game because I think in New Zealand recently we just had the <laughs> super moon, like, but yeah. I think in Melbourne they had the brown moon. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see you're setting that up. <laughs> <laughs> just reading, he pretty much Cheeks. had the playbook out there. Cheeks and all, eh? That yeah. was <laughs> and just carried on running. Yeah, fast, eh? Offload. Oh, BBL Husey, jeez, man. <laughs> um, your boy's squatting. Still dominating with the pants down. Yeah. He, 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 yeah. When they say pants down, it, would <laughs> it literally was, wasn't it? <laughs> Caught him with his pants down. Oh, sweet, <laughs> oh, sweet cheeks. How good was Husey though? <laughs> you got it. One tr- one try, got to try. Yes, oh. got to try. Seventeen runs for one hundred eighty nine meters. Twenty six post contact. For a two seven. line breaks. Two That's line break crazy. assists. Two try assists. One of those try assists seven was like breaks. one of the most silky try assists you'll see. Man, like caught the ball, straightened up, yes. made eye contact with um, was it Kafusi. Yep. Made eye contact like. And pretty much like sucked him in and then... Mudflap would have went for that <laughs> every day of the week. <laughs> yeah. He loves to jam in, eh? A little mudflap. I think it was King that just ran a nice line. It yeah. just looked bloody easy. That's the thing with someone like Gafusi, eh? Like, if you look at him in the eyes, he's going to try and jam you straight yeah. away. Just um, a nice little buff. Big Nelson, game 200, gets a try. Oh, gets yeah. a meaty. I mean, he had a pretty wobbly season. But shit, mm. he's come right at the right time. Slow start, mm. eh? But I like, think he's just had that... Point to prove all season, hasn't yep, he? Yep. Does it say on here? I want to see. Nelly from Welly. Oh, you can't. I was just wondering how much that joker weighs and trying to stop him that close to the line when he got the ball to get this try. Just a short ball like that. You're like, oh. Yeah. Oh. There's a couple, I, couple of mountains in the game, eh, that you just I think short ball. It's just good for him, too, being a second row. You get a bit more one on one action. A bit more isolated, eh? Yeah. Like with defenders, whereas yeah. in the middle, it's like there's, you know, two on the bottom, four, one on yeah. top. Which is still like using him, but he'd be so destructive. Depends. Would you put him out on our knee? Could I usually runs the right edge with him using. on the winger? Uh, Lomu. Lomu. <laughs> 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 it would be uh, crazy because, like, if he was out on the wing, like, he wouldn't even have to be quick and, like, until obviously bigger boys got to him, but, like, he would just be like, boom, push out of the way. <laughs> yeah. And imagine his carries out of the. Back you know, the back of the off field off to to kickstart your set. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I actually think teams would start doing this at some stage. Yeah, surely, I suppose they already sort of like Vatuvai. Vatuvai sort of was the first one yeah. that could have played. Bloody played in the Fords. Yeah. Um, is that your phone yeah. not on silent, bro? It's always, I don't know why it's not on silent. It's always on silent. T Rick. Um, but yeah, big now. Good on you. Uh, Dolphins. You want to say anything? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> It was a slaughter. We'll leave it at that. Cool Greenpeace. Anyone got their number? <laughs> um, oh, Rabbitoh 16. Knights 36. Wabbit hunting season. That was... Uh, oh, the Kiwi Dane Gay guy. He had a great game. Fuck, he's playing well, man. It's not done yet. He's in my fantasy team, he bro. He's probably been the best buy all season. <laughs> he's he hasn't, so he hasn't been in this sort of form for a, quite a long time, if you think about it. He's just looking untouchable at the moment. So good. The Knights finding a bit of a late um, season. Like surge. Yeah. And Ponga, just, he, fuck, he was some silky, like, silky moves in this. Some silky stuff. Rabbitohs look like poo-poo. Yeah, Rabbitohs are gone, Burger. They're gone. Um, Knights are gone too, though, eh? Or they can they still? Uh, they might oh. be thereabouts. I can't remember. They I, might think I, I, I think I read their name out when I was... They might be in that middle patch of people. Mm. That Obviously, this sort of one will help. Um, anything else on that game? Uh, Tane Moon, nice try. Tane Moon with a nice try, any send off? Right. <laughs> one try, one send. <laughs> <laughs> Balances out. Oh, and Roosters. Oh. Roosters 48, Pretty Titans much 22. Bump. Uh, uh, hell. Do we think the Roosters, like, I reckon they're like a legit smoky to, to win the whole thing? To win it. Yeah. Mm. Like, I don't think there's many teams you can say that actually are. I reckon it's, yeah, Roosters. Sorry, Storm Panthers and then Roosters, I reckon, could sniff their way in there. They're just dominating when, they're, when they've got it all together. Yeah. That's probably the only, that might be their little weakness, though, eh? If they are, I haven't seen them get under the pump and then perform yeah. that well, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But um, shit, if they're on, they're near unstoppable. I don't know, but we might have to go look at his heritage, but any chance Angus Crichton is a Kiwi? 
Well, he's played for Australia too like much. He's now. looked hearty with his shaved head now. Shaved head. Oh, <laughs> fuck that. I'll bite the curb. He has been out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, fucking three tries. Also, AKP, I'd love to know where his... Um, allegiance. Allegiance lies because he's eligible. And if the suckle's not playing, it'll be between him and Willie, I'd say. Mm. Well, look at that. Fair. All, all Kiwis scoring. Well, one yeah. of the, the Warriors should even target someone like him too. Yeah, bro. Speed merchant. He's the old food court. <laughs> well, because <laughs> he's got well, so he, many. Yeah, he's um, Pakistani, culture. Samoan, Maori, and indigenous. No, he just like food, bro. Ratchet to me. <laughs> <laughs> he's the whole food court. That's uh, pretty good, man. Yeah, so. Every night of the week. Yeah, nah. Three tries. Titans Jared, out. send off. <laughs> Jared, one send off. I love that. I wonder how many send offs he's had. Apparently, he's been had enough like time. Apparently, this this is going to end his season. This. Oh, really? Really? Has it? No, you, you get three to four weeks. So if they make finals, he'll still be there. Oh, some, I seen a report that said, but it's, I think if he gets the maximum, oh, I think he'd miss out altogether, depending on when they lost. Cl- I think classic. I'd love just random stats of like, like in, t- in terms of costs, like how much he's had to yeah. pay for. Fines now yeah, that they'll be fines. crazy. Yeah. But he's also apparently missed a whole like over a whole season of footy. Just True. suspensions, yeah. Twenty six game. Maybe yeah. that Kiwis World Cup he got sus- he got some straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Which um one was that? The, the one the recent one. Oh remember true. he came on and got then he got suspended for a match over there too? The kids. That's a wow. He's hot. He's hot. Wari. He's hot, man. Last game was Sharks thirty eight, Dragons ten, Sharkies get it done. Oh fuck, the sharks look good, man. Mm. Yeah. Probably wasn't till all oh, the dragons are hanging in pretty tough for quite a while from memory. But yeah, shit. Nikoda was absolutely yeah. outstanding. Um, that whole right side was just fucking crazy. Nikoda, man. And Fantasy point sixty nine, nice. <laughs> Dinner for two. <laughs> 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 Kyle Edo, he had a good game as well. Eating in or eat out. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Oh, <laughs> 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 no way. Um, just run through. We'll just quickly run through. Um, Brinton. Brinton stats. So, eh? um, where is he? Can you? T- is there a? Is there an N after his I on his name? Oh, it's Britain. Britain. Oh, I say Brinton as well. It's Britain, like the great, great Britain. Brinton. Britain. Yeah, I wasn't too sure either. I've, um, been, I've been crossing over both of those. Yeah. 77 minutes, one try. Um, dinner for two fantasy points. 18 <laughs> runs, 159 metres, 57 post-contact. One line break, one line break assist. Five tackle breaks. Oh, yeah, baby, keep going. Two offloads. Don't finish yet. Three dummy passes. Three dummies? <laughs> Fuck. 26 tackles, three missed. How Sorry good. Sorry about the dummies, though. Dummy, that's an interesting stat. If Adi Savia played league, he'd <laughs> he'd probably get like three for his one. Yeah, I want them to bring out next year. Fuck twenty dummies in this game. <laughs> crab, how many crab runs? Tedesco would be up there. <laughs> that the crab well, run? Bro's got like crabs so- <laughs> sideways. <laughs> it's quite effective, eh? It Do is effective. It up, mm. Oh, he like he's crabby patty. That mm. joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mister Crabs, <laughs> <laughs> crusty, crusty crab. Um, anyone else in that game? Nah, just the Sharks are a threat. Braden. You don't need to call Greenpeace for them. Nah. They're good. It's shark week. Yeah, the water's warm. Now watch me do my dance. I'm the player of the day. Day, day, player of the day. Day, day. All right, MVK, most valuable Kiwi. We give it our 3 2 1 point to Kiwis who impressed us over the weekend for outstanding performances and whatnot. And Jason, yes, well, it's pretty much we're pretty much the leader can't be caught. It's pretty much the same as the Dally M points. Well, I've actually decided to give thirty-two points to Sean <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> you would too, you prick. Um, no, but right. oh, how many points is, is uh, Rory up. on up top? Forty-six, sixteen 46. points I mean, clear. If we all voted three for the same person. Don't Keanu Ke- Kenny. Keanu <laughs> Kenny. He got to try. He's worth nine points. <laughs> nine points. <laughs> It'd get pretty close. Yeah. It would. But anyway, who have you got tonight, Jace? Um, my tahi, my one point, Yes, goes to a, a man in green. Machine. Lean, mean, green machine. The Viking clap himself. 
Clap that ass. Joseph Tarpini. He gets my tahi. Yeah, boy. That's the one. Um, my two points. I've been struggling between these two, but I'm going to have to go Brinton Nikoda. Britain. Britain, sorry. Yeah, come on, bro. Get Britain. It wrong. Britain. Sorry. I've corrected you. Great Britain. We, why do we get that wrong? Because I think called Britain. <laughs> There's some words that people just slip mm. like an extra word or name. Extra yeah. letter. Yeah, sorry, letter. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of corrections. <laughs> extra word like teapot or something. Yeah. <laughs> Bro- Brochocolatin. <laughs> Brochocolate. Um, and then my three points. Yes. Hit us, man. Has to go to Jerome Hughes. He's just too good. Moonshine. If oh, he moonshine. doesn't... <laughs> That's my moonshine. moonshine. <laughs> if he doesn't win I the Daily M, fuck the Daily No, I already fucked the Daily M's, but... He's already won it. Just give him the medal. Yeah. Who's chasing him down? Well, no one's chasing him down in the MVKs. Did you have a 3 2 one, sir? Yeah, I'm going to go um, 3 to Britain Nikora. Oh, I like it. 2 for our boy Taps. Mm-hmm. Joey Taps. Um... And then one for, yeah, Moonshine, Romy Hughes. <laughs> Let's bring up the 50. Fuck, this might be a record too for MVK. All right. I'm going to go three to Joseph Tarpany. Ooh. I just think he's been outstanding this year and just solid as. Very consistent. So I'm using a bit of a carryover system for how consistent he's been. Um, no. Looks like such a hard man to tackle. And he's getting tri-assists and shit. Yeah. Front row, come on, man. Um, two points goes to Britain knee quarter outstanding game on the weekend he was good eh hits more lines than the wolf of Wall Street <laughs> <laughs> he is just the bro is on no one runs a line like the brother how good was yeah. his try though oh, like ran onto the ball at speed and then this have enough to do like the side step in the thing is when you're running a line that fast like that it's actually really hard to step or do anything else but go straight eh mm, but and he does it well it's like he's like ice skating yeah, he's very good. Uh, and one point goes to the man himself, Mr. Moonshine. He gets one point. Had to give him at least one. I was going to try and like just deviate because he's so far ahead. Yeah, I, just, yeah. <laughs> I had to give him a three. He's just been so but good. But I had to give him a And that dominant points. performance they put on. Dominant. Clinic. It's a cheeky bugger. He was cheeky in the weekend. It's a mm-hmm. cheeky bugger. All right. All right. Uh, run us through our top five, Jace. Okay. In first place, we have. Jerome Hughes on 51 points. Second place, Keanu Kinney on 30 points. 21 points behind. Um, third place, Joey Tarpenny, our inaugural inaugural, uh, inaugural winner. The first one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's inaugural, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> 28 points. Fourth place, Tamati Martin on 25 points. And, Shit. And fifth place, Chianzi. So Tamati got a lot of points in that section where the Warriors were winning. Yeah, yeah. those three games, eh? Really, that really turned it on. How good. Is that back when it was our fortnight? Our fortnight. Yeah. <laughs> a month. Uh, Kiwi moment, just quickly, from the from the round bean. Oh. One moment stands out to you. I'm going to have to do SJ. Just the whole, the occasion. Can we post that SJ coming out? Coming out, like, coming out. <laughs> SJ walking out to the crowd. Yeah. We can few clip, tears. We can clip that. But talk us through how you were feeling when that was happening. So, lights were off in the house. Oh, shit. Can't so, all it. Well, because I know they... Like, because it was the game was late, they like turned all the lights off in the stadium. Mm. Lights were off in the house, and then the blue lights were on the TV. Tissues, tissues, next to bit uh, lube, <laughs> and then oh, honestly, almost brought tears to my eyes. I was standing there. You didn't cry. I almost did. Is that a little tear, mate? Oh, come on, man. You have a tear, shit. Come on, man. <laughs> um, but no, it was it was so good to see him come out with his family, and it was very touching. How emotional he was. Very touching. Yes. It turned to rage after his first touch, but it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, I wasn't I, angry. I, I, I wasn't angry. I just thought, yeah. shit, I reckon it's just the whole weight of everything. I can't wait to see, see what um, Brooke and Mark t- say to him when play on. Oh, um, yeah, about that. After that. Because, like, fuck. He was so much. Apart from that, he played well, but. Yeah. It's just, of course, he gets. <laughs> and he, oh, he almost got that first try. Yeah, shit. So close. That would have been a um, dream. Another moment, though. There was a few good Kiwi moments this round. There were, yep. Should we let... Yeah, go, you go. Let Jace go and say it in case, in case you... Um, or Timo. Timo go in case yeah. you say it, what he's going to say. Yeah, mine was probably... <laughs> yeah, just SJ Stadium, mate. It was probably the same moment, actually, but a funny story. Like, um, when SJ was walking out 
with his with his family. Like I had the camera ready, and as I said before, I had that focus <laughs> setting like wrong. So I've got about like ten photos of SJ walking it was a fuzzy out. Fuzzy family. <laughs> blurry is, is is a really sweet photo of him kissing Kayla. Oh no, it's and blurry. photos blurry. <laughs> And then when he turned around to say goodbye to them, he like was walking sort of towards me, but he sort of had like, you can see the tears in his eyes. Blurry. Oh, blurry. No, I got that oh. photo. That was the oh. only photo I got that was in focus. <laughs> can you, the blurry ones, can you do something on your computer to make it right? Or is this, it's nah. come out blurry? So That's nah, what those, you fun. save those up for the carousel two months later. Yeah, yeah. They're like randomly in there about blurry. It'll be like, this is the, delete, the deleted files. Yeah. Or you say something big coming and you post that picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, <laughs> that that could have been the teaser. Or you could, you, do you know what you could do? Like, it could, if it's got the outline of him, you could be like, Sean Johnson's now the uh, um, lock player. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Since his retirement, he's yeah. now locked. Um, As a sign of respect, they've locked him on all. Um, what about you, Lenny? Games. Okay, Kiwi moment of the round. For me, it's a Seb Chris try save a tackle. On uh, obviously a close game in the end. Added Timor <coughs> caught probably that and paired with the Timor caught intercept. Yeah. Yeah. Pass to Savage, eh? Please that. get up for yeah. How good. Love um, the Kiwi Raiders. Because if he didn't yeah. get that intercept, it was a try to them. Yeah. And then if Seb Christen obviously yeah. stopped that try, then, you know. So there's a couple of Kiwi moments there in that game where I was like, shit, game changer. Yeah. Probably Ricky Stewart moment. loves New Zealand now, eh? Yeah. He's, just, he's just a UN. He loves Palms, Kiwis. Yeah. He, lo- he, lo- he always he has just a doesn't like. He just doesn't like Aussie. <laughs> strong contingent of yeah. like Palms and Kiwis in his team. Um, Great for state of origin time. Yeah, true. If we're looking outside of the like Johnson part though, for me, because that was good, it has to be Big Nass getting his try on his two hundred. Shout out to yeah, Nelly from Welly, Big Nasty, and then the tries. Man, he had the traps out. I've been a nasty girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're nasty. But yeah, there's a naughty try he got too. It was how good. Just trying to stop him that close to the line. Slammed it over. Oh. Good luck. Yeah. All good right. Fo- big volleyball spike. <laughs> <laughs> Was a bit, wasn't it? Time to go win again. Top five, that's the minimum. Running a game plan, that's on militant. Roll reprise, them guys were filling in. Change man, but the villain is still in them. Same Sam was top billing it. SJ23, they said it was done. I'm back home and killing it now. They said it was done, but I'm back home and killing it now. Yeah. Sure. PNC, the man. Underrated, man. Yeah. yeah. One of the great. I probably have him as, well, he's, you can't say the best thing. I would say he's my favourite New Zealand rapper. And you're allowed to say that. But, you know, you can't say the greatest or the best. Mm. People get angry. Yeah. Oh, well, fuck off. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like that. Uh, oh, he, he's Samoan. <laughs> oh, shit. Davy Dallas. Tuku uh, ho. Tuku ho. <laughs> Tuku ho. He's half Tongan and half Maldi, so I said, oh, I, called him, and I called him a Maldi and something, and then, oh, well. <laughs> he's Tong- a few all the, all, the, all the Tongan brothers were coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> he's Tongan, he's Tongan. <laughs> he's both, relax, sorry, 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 man. Oh, that's funny. Sorry, man, sorry. Is all this right. review? It is, review that shit, boy. First game in the round, Cowboys off a bye, take on the Storm. Storm. Storm arresting half their team. Oh, shit, that's right. Still Storm. Still Storm, eh? Is I'm, it up there? I'm going Cowboys. Oh yeah, I need to get a. I need to jump some people in our tipping. So, I'll stick with the storm. Players to watch. Can't remember. Who, don't know who they. Re- this is not Husey. There'll be no full moon. <laughs> Can I quickly just sidetrack a little bit quickly on that? Yes. Um, Jace, do you remember that time we played that drinking game? It was sort of like four kings. Are you going to bring up what I think? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, do you know what's real funny? What? Every time I see Shane, he brings us up. Does he? <laughs> What is can, it? can I? Ship. So it was ship ca- came into the harbour and Carried it carried a shitload of NRL teams. No, no six, six positions. Ri- and I, it, when it, it was quite a big circle, and it came around. I was like, okay, what have you? Said? <laughs> we panicked. Oh, yeah, I was like, so I'm seeing the two teams here. You obviously didn't yeah. say Storm. No, no, no. no. You said Re- Cowboy. Reverse, reverse Cowboy. <laughs> 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 and I was, it was coming around. I was like, okay, okay. Re- reverse hasn't been. What do you say? Don't no. say Reverse Cowboy. And then I, it came up to me real quick, and I got flustered. I was like, Reverse Cowboy. <laughs> Fuck! It still works. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, no disrespect, but yeah, oh, no, that that's, that's a good yarn, bro. Oh, oh was a reverse good. cowboy. <laughs> it still worked. It didn't get me out. Yeah, because <laughs> technically, you know, if the boys get the boys reversed, then <laughs> <laughs> the counts. <laughs> oh man! Every 
I think Shane even brought it up at Danny's wedding. <laughs> One of those stories, eh? That just yeah. they don't define time. It's uh, a legend. Like I'll see him and Shane will be like, "Oh, reverse cowboy." Eh? <laughs> 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 okay, so I've got the Storm beating the Reverse Cowboys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, they might be Reverse Cowboys if they lose. I mean, shit, they were great. That if the Storm won that, that's oh, that, pretty mad. Well, can the Cowboys back it up? You know, that's <laughs> <laughs> they're in reverse. They can. <laughs> um, I'll bring it up because they posted it. Cowboys should be. I mean, it's hard, man. The Storm is that type of club that yeah doesn't next, matter who's next playing. Man in. So, Storm arresting Hughes, Grant, Warbrick, Howarth, Meany, Big Nasty, King, Bloor, Katoa, Liero, and Kamakamika. Wow. Munster, Pappenhausen, Wishart, Welsh, Welsh and Farlago are all named. Oh, true. So, there's, I suppose it's the boys that have come back from a bit of a layoff yeah. Eh, yeah. that are like... So the rest have played pretty much the whole season, kind of. Yeah. And oh, obviously, you want to get some game time in Munster. Yeah. Which Fuck. I do. Okay. So I'm Cowboys on there. Still Storm for me. What are you going, Len? Oh, I'm going to reverse my Cowboy call. <laughs> <laughs> and go with the Cowboys. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, okay. No, no. Cowboys, okay. Next game. Bulldogs versus Seag- Seagulls. Seagulls. Doggies. Doggy style or what? So we've got reverse Cowboy. Yeah, I'm, I'm do- doggy. doggy style. Oh, wait. Crit has been suspended, eh? Did the other guy get suspended too? Don't know. Oh, who's the other guy again? King, eh? Was it? Was it Max? Max King, King or? Pretty sure. Yeah, but I don't mm. know if he got suspended. Whoa! What? Cowboys are paying a dollar twenty-four. Storm are paying four ten. Shit, that's pretty good. I mean, they have resting like eight yeah. players. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon the doggies will get up. They're just done a good. Doggies have been too consistent. Sea yeah. Eagles yeah. have been too up and down. I'll be doggies as well. I'll be out without Critter and Kurt Mann. I think Kurt Mann's done for the season, eh? Yeah, yep. he's done. So, so combo, you're, no. you're reverse doggy? I'm I'm just normal doggy <laughs> style. Is there, yeah, is there a reverse? Yeah. That would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like dildo, <laughs> dildo in the... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you'd be calling the SPCA if you're seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> Animal cruelty. <laughs> oh, and then we've got um, Panthers and fucking like rabbits. <laughs> Rabbit style SPCA again. I think <laughs> the Panthers are going to rip them to pieces. Are they yeah. resting anyone? Nah, they won't be um, another fourth. Probably not. Oh, nah. It was on here. I was bringing I doubt up it. The oh, what's the verdict with Old Cleary in the end? Is he four, six weeks or something? I think it depends how they ended the season. Oh, true. So, because they sort of did that with Lou I A. They need him the first year. week of finals. He will, he's available, I think. Mm. So if they're in the top four, they probably don't need to play him. <coughs> but then. Oh. Oh, they're not first or second, though. I oh, know all the top four get a single chance. Yeah. Okay. Next game. Next game. So I was just saying, they brought back um, for Panthers, Karuva, Kenny, and Alamotti, all named. Yes, yeah, shit. Um, Eels yeah. versus... Ooh, Eels versus Dragons. It's a yuck game, but I'm going to go Dragons. Um, Dragons as well, I think. They should have a bit too much for them, you'd think. Mm, especially season but, on the line. But the eh? way yeah. the Eels played that first... Yeah, they've got it in them. They do have it in them. I'm not saying it's a foregone conclusion. Yeah, but yeah, but I'm probably going to jump yeah. on the Dragons too. Um, Dolphins, Bronx. Oh, we haven't been saying a Kiwi player, but oh well. <laughs> ah, yeah, Bronx. It's hard with the team list at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, Broncos for me too, that way they played the last 20 minutes of that game. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go Dolphins bounce back. Oh, yeah. Actually, is Nicodema playing? I'm actually glad the Broncos have actually gone pretty good to finish now because that's always been our excuse for the Warriors to get off the hook. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, there. You know? Um, <laughs> Broncos went from the grand final to... Should have. Slightly nearly yeah. bottom of the table. Jim Marshall King is in the reserves. Oh, fuck. Well, he's back. So he might Ready be in. The, um, <laughs> Nicodemus out. Keen on a camp. Still out. I'm 50-50, but I think I might go Dolphins. Oh. Um, Sharkies, Warriors. Last game of the round, Warriors. Kay. Warriors fan for life. Yeah. But sharks. Let's send it. <laughs> <laughs> the shark, no, shark. Let's send it, boys. Quite fitting that it's Sean Johnson's the only other club he's played Rockers. for him. Yeah. That's right. That's random, eh? Yeah. His last out. game's against the Sharks. And Adam's new club, too. Me, oh, that's right. Yeah. Rest them. There's word on the street that might. He, nah. He's nah last game, you'd have a go. Away. You'd break your leg or whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Get the next 
That, that'll get ruffles. you out of preseason too, right? Like if you get an injury that takes you out for wait, who six, are we talking about? Sean Johnson. He won't be oh, right. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. You could break your leg and you'll be out. We're it'll running be, different lines. It'll, sorry, it'll, it'll get off the dad duty. I can't. My leg's broken. All right, so no, but I'm legit going sharks though. Okay, yeah, but I want the Warriors to win. Yeah, okay, I want them to win. Also, nine thirty game. What doing? Ah, the fuck. Um, Do they normally have nine thirty on a Saturday, or is it normally like eight? Do you know what I don't? I don't know. It's a bit of a weird time. Do you know what the most annoying thing about the NRL is? What? The earliest game is the Saturday night games kind of thing. Like, yeah, on a Thursday night. And a Friday night, they won't be till like 10 o'clock. Mm. TV ratings or some but shit. But on so Saturday, it's, it's like half an hour early, which would be perfect for Thursday. Because they air it after all the normal shows on yeah. it. Right. I can and they're just all about, give me the money. Home and away in there. Give me my read Neighbors. money. Give me my read money. <laughs> <laughs> um, Knights v Titans. This is going to be a good game. Yeah, I reckon Titans bounce back. AKP first try. Come on, man. How dare you get second and third last week? Lost there. Uh, I, I, I can see Titans. How you dare you? They've been pretty disappointing the last two games, eh? The tight, the I'm going to go Knights. You can flip a coin, though. You can flip a coin yeah. easily. Yeah. yeah. I'm going for a, um, a Titans bounce back. Bounce back, bounce back. I'm going to go Knights. Nice. Well, you're an idiot. Next game now. <laughs> um, the Cox versus the Raiders. Now, you'd say the Roosters, but do the Raiders have another one in them? They've got one more in them. Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> that video. <laughs> they're, um, they're, the, they're the type of team that would beat the Roosters on the last game of the round. Too. Yeah, they'd be keen to just well, they're gonna you know, round. Up, upset the party oh, a yeah, little shit. bit. I keep thinking we don't. Yes, yeah, we don't. It's all done. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just the week. I should have went them last week in my tipping. It's uh, I'm going to say Roosters still. They look way too good. What do they have here? Um, Watson and Cheese return. And oh. then... Suwalai and Jared Wawiri Hagres are out. Obviously, Suspen- Jared. <laughs> Jared's out. Suspini, huh? All right. Is that it? So, did you say? Um, I'm going to go Rooters. Yeah, Rooters. Three Rooters, no Raiders. On your way out. On your Roosters. way out, Rooter. All right, next segment. We're getting through it. Just another day. <laughs> Just another day. Don't do that again, eh? All right, your boys get paid, your mum gets paid, your cousin, their dog, and their cat. Everyone. Everyone gets paid if you follow Jason. Because he's done it again. Knee quarter. Knee quarter with the try. Um, What has Kane delivered for us this week? Kane has delivered an all-time goodie. Matt Timoko is his best bet. Okay. Matt Timoko, any okay. time, should run over the plasterer Jennings. <laughs> the old plasterer. <laughs> yes, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. His value. Hufanga double. Mele. 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 Uh, the step on it. Ba-boom. The size, the speed. She's just a weapon. Yeah. All right. What, who, who are you going? Um, I'm going. I just need to. I'm going to return any time again. Surely. Yeah. Pussy. My value is going to be Britain any time. Oh, do I do it? Warriors win. Yeah. That's my bet. Yeah. I know. Britain any time Warriors win. I like it. That'll Warriors, pay good. At, Warriors at $5. It'll pay good. Britain at. It's like my favourite type of bet. I know. Too. That's why I was like, oh, coming to the end. Copy my shit. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> Copyright. Actually, I've trademarked that. <laughs> <laughs> so paying $17. So oh. five on that, 10, or 10 on that, $170. Easy dub. And then... I mean, the easy part's probably Nico to get in the try, but... Yeah. <laughs> do, do you reckon... Now that you said that, it'll probably be the hard part. <laughs> yeah. Warriors will win and Nico will go close yeah. and get, tank, <laughs> yeah. get held up. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then my well, it's probably my, I'm going to do something. Is he playing? Should be. Oh, he's changing it up. Even for my best bet against the Rabbitohs, Moses Liotta. Oh, nice. Any time. All right. This end of the season, go big. Go big or go home. 
Moss SA. Do you have a couple of bits, Timo? Um, I can make some up. Yeah. Oh, you can if you want. Yep. Um, Best cowboy or? Like, if you want <laughs> to get on it, um, I would go for, I reckon, uh, yeah, bring you, you, can, you can you can put a bet on going into Golden Point, eh? Yep. Um, I reckon the Raiders Raiders game is going to go into Golden Point. Raiders like taking people to Golden. I reckon they do. Both those Sunday games going to go close. Yep. Yeah, actually, you're right, Jace. Imagine, oh, imagine multi in them. Actually, I have to say that now. That and I actually reckon our boy Raps is going to kick a field goal. Oh, got this weird feeling. The toe hack. The toe pokey. Nah, they got Jamal, don't they? He'll fuck. But yeah, that would be the bit. All right, I'll just give you guys one. Yeah, one. But tip. everyone will be looking at Jamal Ogedi, and then they'll go out to Rats. Yes, Mustachius, Mustachius. Look at him, um, Lenny. AKP, <laughs> AKP. First try. Come on, bro. You've done it yes. to me a few times now. Second and third try. Just get the first one, bro. Is this your best or value? Because what is your other bet going to be? Well, this is me. That's my value. Okay. That's your value. Okay. My best bet is Ice Papa Lee. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they got to buy. Jokes. Gotcha. Jokes on you. Um, fuck, I've ridden this guy a little bit too, but he's got a good record. So I want to go Tommy Talao any time. Tommy Talao. Is he playing? Hang on, is he playing? TNT. I I reckon. And Bulldogs win. He's in the centre. Do you know what I reckon? What? You're this close to the end of the season. Just do them both for the first try. Yeah, okay. Tommy Talal is paying... 270 or something. Oh, that, sorry. I thought I was in... Actually, you're right, Jace. Fuck it. Both Two, he's paying 275 for... Okay, both of them first yeah. try. Be brave. Be bold. It would be classic if you came back and won from this. If they both get it. <laughs> and then next week I won't do anything. <laughs> Hectic obviously is a Brenton knee caught at any time. <laughs> Dallin, oh no, not Dallin. He's not playing next week. All right. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Great yeah. stuff. Thanks thanks for coming along. Full time. Full time. Brrr. For your Katu and Fatu? Or Katu and Fatu. Fatu and Katu. Fatu and Katu. You will go to YouTube. Yes, you Q will. QNRL podcast. You will. Yes. Um, for your Taringas. Spotify. Apple Podcast. Podbean. Nice. Now, if you want to follow us, but not home. Instagram. It's Insta. <laughs> I forgot gram. what you said for a second. The gram. Oh, the gram. <laughs> Facebook. Felicio. TikTok. Tiki Toki. And Grinder. And Reverse Cowboy. <laughs> Reverse Cowboy. <laughs> My handle is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you everyone for listening. We've been the Kiwi in our podcast. As always, um, give them a taste of Kiwi. Up the wires. Come on, man. Last game of the season. Come on, man. You'll Up the back. wires. And you'll be back you'll next be week. You'll be back. And, uh, you'll get a car and you'll get a car. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, stay horny. Thank you. You know what it takes. And you're ready today to take them all off. You got the measure of your man and you know that you can go all the way. Give it to him. Yeah, give him a taste. Give it, give it.